law firm is investigating how personal information was leaked about a woman Mayor Cantrell accused of stalking her. The woman's attorney filed a complaint with the NOPD Internal Affairs over the sharing of sensitive information the mayor had used in her request for a restraining order. David Jones joins us with the story. The mayor asked civil court to grant her the restraining order against French Quarter resident Anne Bro after Bro snapped a photo of the mayor dining on a balcony with her then bodyguard, NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi. We don't know exactly what happened, but we know that Anne Bro's private information that shouldn't have gotten, gotten to the mayor got to the mayor. Mayor Cantrell's civil court petition, filed on May 10th, asked for a restraining order against Anne Bro accusing her of harassment. A private citizen wouldn't have the access to the, the files that were attached. The petition was filed by Cantrell in her capacity as a private citizen and included things like Bro's social security number, driver's license photo, and expunged criminal history. We feel that this was probably done as, as sort of an intimidation tactic, really, to say, look what I, you know, you're going to cause problems for me, you're going to take pictures of me, you're going to release them to the media and make them public. I'm going to come back and do the same thing to you. Schmidt filed a complaint with NOPD's Public Integrity Bureau, which assigned it to an outside law firm. The firm notified Schmidt Monday four officers' actions are being scrutinized for allegedly releasing Bro's personal information. Cantrell's former bodyguard, now retired NOPD officer Jeffrey Vappi, officers Leslie Guzman and Ryan St. Martin, and Sergeant Victor Gantz. Leslie Guzman is an interpreter for the police department. Rafael Goinecci, president of the Metropolitan Crime Commission, says Guzman took down the original police report, which Cantrell submitted in her court filing. Which is odd that she would be assigned to issue a police report. Normally, that type of thing is investigated by an officer, maybe in the district. Leslie Guzman doesn't work in the 8th District where that occurred. She works in headquarters. Goinecci says the report was authorized and approved by Sergeant Gantz. Who is not Leslie Guzman's regular supervisor. He's in charge of the Executive Protection Unit. And how St. Martin's name got involved, both Goinecci and Schmidt are left wondering. Goinecci says St. Martin is assigned to the auto theft unit at headquarters. Automobile theft would have access to driver's license photos. Schmidt says this investigation is the beginning of what could be a long process. The complaint that we filed with the PIB's office on its platform on June 27th was, you know, a, a beginning step in the process of uh, putting together a, what, what ultimately will be a lawsuit likely in federal court. Schmidt says the lawsuit will be tailored around the damages he says Bro endured from all of this. We reached out to NOPD. They declined to comment. We also reached out to the mayor's office, but did not hear back. Meg.